Hey, it's Tom Dalton from the Emmy award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar, Michigan. Now, I used to think I had a sweet tooth, but actually, I've got a whole mouthful of them. So I'm sure glad I live in Michigan, because there's enough sweet places to eat here. Keep them all happy. Take a look. Hey, how'd you like to see a place that's been making candy longer than Willy Wonka? And it's right here in Escanaba. Mike Kobasik and his family have been making great candy here at Sakely's since before TV, household refrigerators, and even me. Uh, on a daily basis, how much candy comes out of here? Uh, on a daily basis, we go through about 2,000 pounds of chocolate and about 1,000 pounds of inclusions in the chocolate. Well, your family's been doing this for how many years now? Uh, my family, personally, has been doing it for about 33 years that I took over from my uncle, uh, Fred Sakely, and he was doing it for about uh, 45 to 50 years before his father, Joe Sakely, and he started in 1906. Candy's been in the family a long time. Yes, it has been in a long time, and uh, we're getting good at it now. <laughs> oh, you think? You love coming to work every day? Yes. For me, it's not work. <laughs> well, you're making candy, for God's yes. sake. I, I understand. Mean, uh... <laughs> but I enjoy doing this. Right, That's right. the other thing. The hard part is training everybody else to do it right. <laughs> you think you can train me? Well, we have to still next go through a few other stations with you, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we'll see. If you're trainable. Now, making candy is something I always thought was done by machines, but I quickly discovered that the good stuff is actually made by hand. So, well, you know me, I had to try my hand at it. Oh boy. Ready? Switch. Oh my God. All right, Pitt. Next. Next. <laughs> no, 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 it's got to come over here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I got to put it all the way over there? Yeah. Okay. Can I lick the spoon? No. No. Oh, no. I almost lost that one. I would be so tempted if I worked here to just, I'd have chocolate for lunch, I'd have chocolate for breakfast, I'd have chocolate during my break. Do you, ever, do you get chocolate breaks? Well, I think I've just about mastered the fudge station. Now, on to dipping. I should be pretty good at that. So, are you like a professional dipper? No, I Because I'm a professional dip. <laughs> so, what are you doing here? You're just, you're, you're taking these, what are these? Angel food. This angel food, and you're just yeah. dipping it in the dark chocolate. Yep, yeah. you just kind of roll it around, cover it up. Right. It doesn't Walk look difficult, there. except you know what you're doing. So I <laughs> can I let me. I, I guess they want me to try this, so I'm yep. going to try it. Being a dip, I was a natural at dipping too. I'll just go wash my hands now. Now I promise you won't be buying any of the candy that I made. That stuff's melting in the trunk as we speak. But what I can promise you is that if you like candy, you'll love Mike and the crew at Sakely's Candies. They're the sweetest people I've met in a long time. Pun intended.